Righto, tell you there, champs, and this is one of my most recommended laptops, and I'm going to tell you why. It's not exclusively this laptop, this kind of laptop I recommend to everybody. We'll get to why in a sec, but this is the Asus CX34 Flip. Whoa, with Intel 12th generation processor. You can get up to an i5 1235U processor, so that's the Ultrabook processors. This one here actually has an i3, and I've got to tell you, it doesn't matter i5, i3. It really won't matter in this system. I'll tell you why. It does have a 14-inch display. Display. It's 16 by 10, which I haven't seen a laptop like this 16 by 10 and it's up to 300 nits of brightness. It also has a few tricks up its sleeve. As you can see here, yes, it is indeed touch. You get a stylus and it packs neatly away inside the laptop itself. Of course, this means you can flip it around, all that sort of stuff as you'd expect. These things are tough, solid. Yeah, man, tough as these things. You can pick them up like that. They're just built solid. They're just a good, robust piece of kit there. Up to 16 gigabytes of memory. This only has eight gigabytes, perfectly enough. USB type A's, USB type C. We've displayed board out, HDMI 2.1, audio jack and mini SD card reader. So most of the ports you want there. It is Wi-Fi 6E as well, so that's awesome. It comes with a small 45 watt power adapter. It's 1.8 kilos. Yeah, it's not exactly a lightweight, but it's not heavy either. It's a 14 inch laptop and yeah, 1.8, just under four pounds, not too bad. So I like the look of it, the keyboard. I've got to say, backlit keyboard, of course. Very good keyboard. I really like using this keyboard. Been using it for the last week or so. And this trackpad is actually really good, but it does my head in because it's sort of inverse. And that's because this is a Chromebook. Yes, it's not a Windows laptop. Yeah, so that did do my head in that the controls are sort of inverse to scrolling, but you'll get used to that or you can probably change it anyway. The speakers on this are pretty good as well. So when I was watching movies, so I just set it up in like tent mode, you know, whichever way you want and just watch some movies. The sound was perfectly fine. Not gonna blow you away the sound, I've gotta say. Oh, see how tough it is. Oh. Yeah, the sound is not gonna blow you away but perfectly good for viewing content. And as I said, 300 nit display. It's definitely bright enough. I cannot use the tools to measure the gamut because it is a Chromebook and all my tools are Windows tools. So, uh, or I can actually use them on Mac as well. But um, yeah, 300 nits of brightness, you know, that's enough. No complaints with the brightness there. And the colors, they look all right. I can't tell you the colour gamut, but they look all right to me. And I look at a lot of laptops, I, I would assume it wouldn't be the highest colour gamut. And the resolution is pretty much perfect for this size, sort of. Being a 1200p display, 16 by 10, it's a nice resolution. So, because this is a Chromebook, this is why I recommend this laptop. Not just this one, or just Chromebooks in general, because I'm tech support for everybody. So when you go to Christmas, you know, you know, family get togethers, oh, my phone's not doing this, oh, my email, oh, there's a pop-up on my computer and all this, yeah. That's why I recommend these and Chromebooks and this I will recommend too because it has touch. They all want touch now. It has the stylus, great keyboard, great trackpad. The screen's decent enough. The battery life, I've got about eight hours and then I'll put it on charge most of the time. Eight hours is enough. I would expect sort of more, and it's, you know, it's not the smallest laptop there. It's, I think it's 63 watt hour battery. I mean, it looks pretty smart, doesn't it? It looks really nice. Looks premium, but it is sort of a plastic build there, but you wouldn't know it. It just sort of does look sort of premium. But I sort of think being, you know, 1.8 kilos, they could have maybe put a bigger battery in and got sort of 12 hours battery life instead, but whatever because it's a chromebook this is just what i recommend to you know the old man anyone that asks me you know if they're just doing web surfing just general watching youtube a little bit of productivity with you know notes or whatever this is what you want no headaches no tech support actually i did get a call from tech support someone actually had not this a chromebook and yeah they put the email order in reverse they pressed the date and it was showing their old emails oh my where's all my emails gone uh, so you still do get calls but i gotta say i don't get the calls oh, i've got this malware i've got this pop-up i've got this link that took me somewhere you know with a chromebook 
You don't have to worry about all that rubbish. Secure, this is for someone that wants security, no headaches, and if you're just doing web surfing and stuff like that, that's why I recommend these, and I would recommend this one too. As I said, this is only an i3 and 8 gigs RAM. It doesn't matter because it's a Chromebook, right? The performance is perfectly fine. You never hear the fan because what are you doing on it to make the fan go? Um, there's no need to upgrade these things. i3 would just perform pretty much like the i5 because you're only using it for basic computing needs and for what it is a chromebook you know i wouldn't use a chromebook actually if i was going overseas and all i wanted to do is go on the net and stuff like that connect to websites and just do email yes i would take a chromebook but personally for me you know it's a bit limited for me a chromebook but for most people that's all you need man and this one is a solid choice there yeah, the only criticism is, it's not even a criticism. I mean, eight hours battery life is still all day to me, but maybe they could have put, you know, a bigger battery, as I said before, and it's very versatile with the touch, the stylus, great keyboard, as I said. It's just a good package. It does what it says on the tin. Um, yeah, I'm going to recommend this to people. And it's not, you know, super expensive either. And it looks good. It doesn't look cheap and nasty. You know, some of these Chromebooks look rubbish. This looks good, built solid. Yeah. It's a nice little sort of, you know, laptop. Perfect for most people. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.